G'day again guys, um, today's job, I need to do the first service on the new Posi track, the Kubota SVL65, so here we are. She's going to get her first service today, I've, yeah, it's just come back off the job. I think the first service is at 50 hours, right? Um, I don't even think you're supposed to do the engine oil as far as, I was just reading the manual, so it's mainly the hydraulic oil filter and just a general check over, but I'm going to do the engine oil too. Hydraulic oil filter and yeah, general check over and just a bit of a clean up kind of thing, clean everything out. Although I, I do that pretty much after every job anyway, you know, clean air filter and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's. I've got to, I've got to tilt the cab to get the hydraulic filter, so I'm going to do that, park it up over there, do that hydraulic filter first, and I can drop the cab again, and then we'll do the rest of it in the shed so it's nice and shady and all the rest of it. But yeah, let's get stuck into this. Get this cab up, I believe. Got your pin there, and two bolts in here. One there, one there, and then the whole thing should just come up. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see if it actually does. All right, 24 mil socket. Them two bolts out, and if I've done it correctly, one thing. There we go. Well, that's pretty easy. Well, easy as. There's my hydraulic filter. So I'll probably give this a good hose out while I'm here as well. I think. Hmm. I'll just put that safety pin in. Just double check she ain't gonna fall. Yeah, that pin's grabbing it. So we're all good. All right, I'll get this um, hydraulic filter on first because obviously it's gonna drop some oil. I dare say it will anyway. And then I can hose this area out and give it a bit of a wash and get it sparkling after I do that so um part numbers for anyone interested this is the hydraulic oil filter it is there genuine so let me just get this one off Oh, why do I do them? Why do they do them up so tight? No, need my bigger one. God. <sighs> All right, let's try. Third time lucky. I'll strap one.
got to be joking me. You serious, Kubota? That is a joke. Why on earth do they do them so tight? Literally gonna snap the bracket off. Oh, my God. That was a joke. Ridiculous. I'm only really using this because it's oily and I can't really get my hands on it too well. So I'll just use this to tighten it a bit. tight as before I tell you. Uh, now that filter's on I'm just gonna actually I'm just gonna drop one of these belly pans quick so I can hose it out while I'm out here. I think they're just 17 mil. I hope they're 17 mil that's what I put on the thing.
Always go for the harder to reach ones first. Make your life a bit easier. So looking at this belly pan, you don't actually have to remove the two that are on them elong elongated holes anyway. Just loosen them and we'll slide it out. So I just learned something too. on your filters, paint marker, all right I've just given the seals a bit of a wipe around where they're going to seal back together, get rid of all that dirt and dust and stuff. Give it a fighting chance of sealing out the dust, so let's drop this cab back down. It's surprisingly easy. I like it. I'll just fire it up and we'll give it, you know, Give it five, five or so minutes. Get that engine all warm so it runs out easier. Might even do a lap around the property, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you in the shed. Radiator tilted back. What do you they are? 17, something like that, maybe? Alright, so it pulls back and tilts. Right here. Okay. tilted. The whole thing actually rolls back. I did wonder why there were bolts down the bottom. That makes more sense. Alright. There's just another little um, cover underneath right where the um, oil filter is so I'm guessing that's to let the oil out which is going to run out of it. So I'll just buzz that off quickly. there and that's coming from the fuel filter I guess if you want to drain that that's what that one is and we'll get you in here and have a bit of a look so uh on down there is our oil filter the one that's painted blue we can see what that one is fuel filter right there and that's like your water separator I believe there's a little filter in there too Maybe like a gauze one or something. But yeah, today, like I said, it's only the 50 hour service. Well, I'm actually at 41, so I'm just dropping the oil, do the filter, new oil. So you do the air cleaner, but I do that after every job anyway. That's just what you should do. 
And yeah, just a real simple one today, but just kind of showing you what it looks like. Now let's drop that oil. Uh, some plugs just there, 22 millimeter, I believe. I hope. Feels like it. That was very ungraceful. Stump plug. If you're wondering what it looks like, got a little wiring on it, it's nice. Anyway, while that's draining, let's go and get this get this oil filter off in there. I apologize for being awkward, the camera is right where I need to be, but the price I pay for give me a good view. Oh, well that was hilarious, that was like not tight at all, like polar opposite of the other filter, nice one Kubota. because we love part numbers. Part number for the oil filter. All right, let's get this new filter on. There you go, beautiful. This radiator back in because we're done with that oil filter. And I don't really need to get in there for anything. The fuel filter that'll be at the 250 hour service um, and all that stuff. And the final drives that'll be 250 hours as well. So this is going back in. Slides back in, I guess. Because it's got that o-ring on there, you don't need to go crazy tight. Don't know why people always reef on the sump plugs. You end up just cross-threading them. Alright, because of the old aircons up here and everything, you can't really get a big funnel down in here. To fill the engine all up. So I've come up with you know, a bit of rubber hose on the end of it. So hopefully I'll just get a strap or something to hold that up there. A bit of duct tape should work fine.
work. All right, let's get some oil into it. So I believe it takes eight and a half liters for this particular model. So it's like five-ish in there, so I'll get that in first. Anyway, I think I'll come back when I get enough oil in this. That's the oil I'm using, by the way. Oh yeah, right at the bottom dot. Keep going. You obviously don't want to overfill it, so when you know you're on the dipstick, just do it in little stages, and plus it takes a while to drain through this, so I'll just do it in little bits. And remember, the oil filter's not full of oil either, so that's gonna take a little bit of oil when you first start it. All right, we're looking pretty good there. Just a tad over the top dot, so it'll probably be perfect. When we fire it up, and it fills out that oil filter. So I'll just start it quickly and um, make sure the warning lights go off. I'll put a little drop more in there. We are bang on full. So give the air filter a quick blow out while I'm here. It's done one fire break since I last pulled out, but they're pretty dusty things when you're doing the old fire breaks. Alright, so we're pretty much done here for this um, quick first service. Just want to run your run your eyes over the visual stuff, like your coolant level. Um, so don't open that if it's been running, but you can have a look in there if it's cold. But you mainly check it there because it's a um, recovery system anyway, so it keeps that topped up. Look for any loose things, any leaks, yada yada yada. Um, your hydraulic level. Which I'll probably need to top up a bit because I did that filter. But that's that's there. It's a tad low, so I'll probably put a little touch in, which is that's where you fill it up from. That one. Um yeah. I'm gonna pull this out, leave them belly pans off and give it a give it a uh, degrease. And better put my little cap on. And yeah, give it a good hose out and then put them belly pans on and we'll call it done. So just give it a quick scrub. One other thing I forgot to say, if you're in dusty conditions, which most people are when they're running these machines, this is your cabin air filter behind that one. So it's got a little just under that one and this whole cover comes out and it's just like a paper element air filter so you can blow that one out too blow it backwards i literally just did that um so i'm not going to do that again 
on this one, but, and there's also inside your cab on your aircon, there's a little filter there. So always keep them ones clean guys, otherwise your evaporator will clog up and you'll be having all sorts of troubles with airflow in your air conditioning system. There are plenty of videos on that on YouTube, believe me. Yeah, these things aren't the best at keeping dust out. You gotta really keep on top of it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get it out and give it a wash. Clean enough for now, it's literally going out on a job tomorrow, so it's gonna get filthy anyway. So let's go with a quick hose down. Um, it's gonna let it drip dry for you know half an hour, or whatever, and then put all them belly pans back on. Then we'll be good to go. So, yeah, there you have it the uh, first service on a Kubota SVL 65. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.